Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we're going to be checking out uh, another older game, Balance City. It came out September 21st of 2016 on Steam. Uh, it was on sale last week for a dollar when it normally retails for about eight, so I thought I'd pick it up and take it for a test drive with you guys. So let's hop into the tutorial missions. They are called the Mayor's Academy, and we're going to be doing the first steps missions today. Now, I have a friend here on the bottom right screen. He just lost his job. It was sad, so I decided to hire him as my um, game manager, tutorial manager. His name's Donnie. Uh, you might recognize him. He was he was um, a pretty pretty important dude. Um, so he's now gonna be helping us through this game. So we just gotta follow his lead, and we're gonna make the perfectly balanced city. Obviously, if we build too much on the left side or on the right side, the city's gonna tip off the face of the earth, and we don't want that. So this is my, literally my first time playing the game. Uh, so we're going to be learning together and it looks like these top buttons are our most important buttons. So let's build our first special building. And I think this is the mayor's house. You can see there in the upper left, that's our goals. First step goals. So we built the mayor house. Now we're going to build four residential blocks. Uh, so every time we build a star building, we can increase our height by hundred meters and every 250 people, it looks like we can build another star building fantastic don such great information to have we appreciate that obviously the goal is to build your city as high as you can looks like you can go pretty high and we're going and going for some reason our approval rating is at 67 percent, even though we have no citizens but we're going to change that here let's build some residential blocks here so again we're, we don't want to unbalance the city or anything so let's um just do that and we'll do two and two and scare that bird off i'm assuming those flashing lights means there's no power Yes, those are beautiful homes. Thank you so much for noticing. Uh, why wouldn't anyone want to live here? Oh, man, energy. Jesus, Louise, I guess that. So let's build a power plant, huh? All right, click on the power plant, and we will put that right there. Notice how the, the buildings kind of shifted a little to the right, and now we got power. Um, so now what's this blue? Let's zoom in. I can't tell. That looked like a guy at a computer. Um, urban planning school taught me all about this. Our citizens needs offices for them to work in. So let's build some office buildings and we're just going to put that there. And you know what? Let's make this a high rise. Yeah, there we go. Each office holds jobs for four citizens. Offices also need energy. Each power plant can supply up to 15 office and residential blocks. That's good to know. So we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six so far. Those do look a little grayer. I wonder if that's the pollution from the the power plant. As you can see on the top line, our population is now 36, approval rating is 64, and our max height is 11 millimeters, or mil meters. So that's good. We are uh, growing both in height and the population. Um, so smoke's bad for your health. Let's add some trees. I agree, Donnie. Trees are good. Now we can't put them in front, so we're just going to have to put them, oh yeah, we can. They just kind of fall like that. Ooh, that's cool. The flower bed's kind of perking up there. So let's keep adding trees, make this a nice, beautiful place. We'll put some in front of the power plant. So now we can build some terraces as well. So let's put some terraces on top of our our homes. See, they went from that gray to dirt to, to clean white and flower beds up front. That's pretty cool that it recognizes things like that. And then let's put some trees on top as well. So that must be like a platform that the trees can't fall through. I wonder why I deleted that tree. Can I tuck one there? There we go. So we've built a terrace and plant some trees on top of it. All right, with clean air, your population will grow. We're already at 56 people and we're doing pretty good. Remember that citizens love to have trees nearby. Your city also deserves an efficient transportation system. You can build a train station near the floor. Build a train station, but do not unbalance the city. So I guess we're gonna put it right there. Oh, that's cool. Train kicked out and it's gonna go, it's gonna fly off the edge, no. Just gonna go back and forth. Nice. So population still at 61. You can build train stations, airports. Airports will be available when your city rises over 200 meters. Just be careful not to cause an accident. Oh no. Uh, that's all I can tell you right now. You are ready to face the challenge. The city trusts you. Don't be scared. I'll be around to help. Thanks, Don. That is so, so nice of you. I, I just appreciate it. I know you're down on your luck right now, just losing your job a couple days ago, but I'm so glad I can help you out. When something seems wrong, I will let you know. Of course you will. Before there is a tragedy. Now, let us build a city that reaches the heavens so that we may make a name for ourselves. Good luck, Mayor. 
All right, so it looks like it's dumping us in. Um, oh, level complete. Train station unlocked. Well, that was the first tutorial mission, guys. Uh, thank you so much for coming out and watching Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Make sure you like the video. Comment. Uh, you know, if there's any other games you want me to do, subscribe to the channel so you can get my great content that's going to come out. I'm going to go ahead and break the tutorials up into a couple different uh, videos just so they're quick and easy to watch. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, and thanks for stopping by.